Greetings, everyone. Pete Pardo here from Sea of Tranquility. Welcome to another episode of What's Hot with Sea of Tranquility. That's right, it's Wednesday. New release day here on the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at a uh, the brand new release from prolific Norwegian band Motor Psycho. The album is uh, Ancient Astronauts, out now on Stickman Records. That's right, very little of anything on the cover, right? It's very kind of mysterious looking. As we open it up, okay. Not a lot of writing. I'll get a little bit of info here. Listing of the tracks uh, is here somewhere. Yes, you take the take the CD out, then here you get the list, the track listing in the in the tray. Only four tracks. Uh, you got one that's like six minutes and change, one that's like two, and then the two big epics to close out the album. One is like 22 and the other is 12 or 13, something like that. And uh, so in the band right now, and this is like their 30th release. I don't know. They, their first album came out in like 91 or 92. They have a ton of releases over the years, uh, CD and vinyl and EPs and splits and live and all sorts of stuff. It's like if you go and look at the list, it's ridiculous. So I don't know exactly how many this is. Uh, I do know this is like the, <clears throat> since I started listening to them in like 2017, this is like I think their fourth, maybe fifth full-length studio album. They got some double albums. This is a single album here. Um, Bent Scyther, Scyther on lead vocals, bass, guitars, and keyboards and things. He's kind of like a jack of all trades, also plays a little bit of drums. He's one of the founding members of the band. Uh, Hans Magnus Ryan goes by the nickname of Sna, S-A-S-N-A-H. He's a lead guitarist, vocalist, keyboard player, mandolin, violin, bass. Okay, they, all these guys play all sorts of instruments. And since 2017, on drums, Tomas Yamir. Okay. And there's plenty of other people helping out on various things, instruments and things on this album. Like I said, it's a kind of like an album steeped in mystery almost. Yeah, if you go and read the little bit of information on here, it's a lot of very vague stuff. So basically what we have, uh, the track listing, is the ladder kicks things off. Uh, the ladder is a more... <clears throat> kind of straightforward. It just if you never listened to Motorcycle before, they're kind of a hard band to explain because uh, from album to album their sound changes a little bit. It's definitely Norwegian style prog rock. There's definitely like a psychedelic vibe to it, big time. At times there is kind of like this weird little lumbering heaviness which pokes in and out of the music, which is kind of stonerish. Um, there's definitely some folk stuff going on here. There's definitely some like electronic going on here as well it's kind of like this weird head-on collision of all sorts of different styles but that's what kind of makes them so unique so the ladder kicks things off that's like a more of a vocal piece it's like six minutes long that's a pretty heavy rocker really cool intricate guitar riffs going on You've got keyboards and things happening on their vocals it's very upbeat very rocking Nothing else on the album quite sounds like that. Then you've got the, the Flower of Awareness, which again is like two or three minutes long. That's just this really mellow instrumental, just kind of floats along for a couple of minutes and then it's over. Then you have uh, Mona Lisa slash Azrael, which again is the second longest piece on the album. It's over 10 minutes long. And that's really interesting because it's kind of like you got like Mellotrons and keyboards and synthesizers and things, little bits of guitar. The beginning's just kind of like eerie, intoxicating type of thing. And then all of a sudden you get these big bursts of, you know, metallic riffing popping in and drums and just everything gets heavy and upbeat and just crashing and stonery. And then the psychedelic and prog stuff comes back in again really wild and then the last track which is the longest like i said is 22 minutes long it's called chariot of the sun hyphen to phaeton on the occasion of sunrise and then in parentheses theme from an imagined movie uh <clears throat> this is a really cool song worth the price of admission alone uh the beginning like i don't know half the track Again, it's 22 minutes long. Just kind of floats along. Or this reminds me of spots of like old, old Tangerine Dream from the very early 70s. You got the waves of like, you know, uh, like 
sounds like violin and maybe some cello, you know, strings, Mellotron, other, you know, kind of creepy sounding keyboards, lilting guitar chords and lines here and there. No vocals to be found on this song to my recollection. I've listened to this a bunch of times, unless there's like weird little chanting things going on. It's mostly instrumental. Then all of a sudden you get these big lumbering heavy riffs and jagged like King Crimson King Crimsonish guitar excursions. There's a couple of moments on this song and the song right before it where you get some weird kind of like red or uh, Lark's Tongues and Aspic era King Crimson like guitar noise going on, which is really, really amazing. The big bass and all of a sudden it's like completely into like Crimson prog rock territory um, and pretty heavy. <clears throat> and then it kind of mellows out again and just the, the, the whole ass song is like a mind blowing experience as this whole album is. So it's definitely a different album. It's definitely not as... Um, kind of upbeat and in your face as some of the other albums I've heard from them and it's not it's definitely like they have some other albums like like for instance uh, like in more recent years I mean I, I started listening to them with the tower uh, the tower and the crucible has definitely have some like more accessible moments on there there's really nothing like that on here save for maybe the first track um, but if you liked uh, kingdom of oblivion which came out in 2021 this is even a little more kind of laid back and atmospheric than that one but like i said there are bursts of energy all throughout this album but there's also lots of kind of creepy interludes and long stretches of like kraut rocky like atmospherics and it's almost space rock to an extent really cool stuff i really like this a lot this is not i will warn you though this is not an album that the first listener to everything's going to kind of make sense and jump right out at you. This is one you're going to have to spend a little time with, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, listen to that, listen to that. Oh, I love that soundscape going in, and oh, I love those big riffs popping out of nowhere. It's kind of what you get here. So again, uh, Ancient Astronauts from Motor Psycho out now on Stickman Records. Check it out if you haven't. If you're already a fan of this band, you're going to like this. If you've never kind of investigated these guys, we've been reviewing their last bunch of albums here on the channel. Uh, I don't know if this is necessarily the one you want to start with, but if everything I explained sounds up your alley, check it out. Definitely check it out. It definitely has that Norwegian feel to it, right? It's definitely kind of cold and creepy and atmospheric and, you know, like you're out in the woods at night and, you know, it's around every corner, something different and pretty cool. Pretty cool. So there you have it. Motorcycle, brand new. Check it out. This is on the web at www.seatranquility.org. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. All together, all the damn time. Easy. 4.5 out of 5 star. Really like this a lot. Again, I like it because it's really different. I like these guys anyway. But I find that most of their records are a little bit different from each other, which is very cool. So thanks if you've heard it. Let us know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't listened to it yet, go out, investigate. Check it out then come back and let us know what you think, right? So uh, we'll see you real soon here. We might have one more for you here today, all right? Uh, not going to be as prolific as last Wednesday, uh, but you'll get some new stuff. And then you're going to get a whole bunch of new album reviews next week because it is Thanksgiving week. And uh, I will be taking vacation time next week, so I'm going to. you might get like new uh, album reviews on non-Wednesdays. Uh, so in other words, you might see new stuff all during the week because I just got to get caught up. I've got so many so many new albums sitting here uh, waiting to be reviewed. So I'm going to probably pump out a few extra ones next week. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm P. Pardo. See you real soon here with more stuff. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.